halfway through the month of October, and it is time right now for Roski on politics as we find out what's happening in the political world. I think I want to end it at a sound effect like a sword, like ching oh, ching. Yeah. Because cool. we have a mystery guest here today, but before we get to that person, I want to show a couple photos. This is how amazing Iowa is. Uh, Rachel, either one. Now, this is yesterday. Former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, how amazing is that, is here in Des Moines, got to speak with her really? at a private residence yesterday. We spoke about foreign policy, and you can see her sticker there. She was here uh, endorsing uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign, which oh, is amazing. Okay. The next photo, though. Yeah, she's a now, good Slovak, Jackie. Yeah. She is, yeah. a very good Slovak. Jason Noble, wrote, writes for The Register, was just on your program talking about his podcast. Yeah. This is a photo he ran. This was also yesterday. You can read... Coming soon at Drake University, Rand Paul now chatting with Brent Roski, 150 students waiting to see him. Just a, a small peek into, it really is that crazy. I filmed with Rand Paul uh, for the show and they were very kind. Uh, thanks to Eleanor with his staff. Literally, he got to Drake. They said we brought him straight to my show. We taped with him. I packed up my stuff, went straight over to the other part of town awesome. and uh, got to meet with Madeline Albright. So it really is like that in Iowa. And that was, uh, what was yesterday? Wednesday. So anyway, middle of the We're week. We're a hot ticket in happening. town, especially with the Democratic debate coming here next in November. Uh, uh, and, and obviously the Democrat debate just happened on Tuesday. So little little uh, wrap up on the debate. Wall Street Journal, you know, people say who won the debate, right. who, who didn't, who right. lost the debate. I think everyone had a, a fairly good showing. You know, you could say that there were some lines that maybe Lincoln Chafee didn't wish he said and, and Jim Webb complaining about time maybe weren't their best moments. However, I think everyone else did what their constituents hoped they would do. Wall Street Journal takeaway, uh, Sanders wins debate on social media, and the reason I call that out, at least there's a metric mm -hmm. that they're going with. Uh, Sanders was mentioned 407,000 times Tuesday, more than the rest combined. He also, because of that, raised $2.5 million that night. Wow. Talk about Rand Paul. Rand Paul raised that this quarter. So to put that in comparison. So anyway, um, a little bit there. Uh, one of the folks uh, that people wanted to learn more about and did that night was Governor Martin O'Malley, who was also running. I wanted to show a quick video, and then we're going to talk to our guest. But this is Governor Martin O'Malley uh, just a few days ago in Des Moines, right before the debate, talking about the debate. Let's take a look. Hard times, hard times, come again no more. Many days you have lingered outside our cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. What do you think? What do you hope to happen on Tuesday? Well, I hope on Tuesday people will realize that there's more than two candidates running for president in the Democratic Party. That's what I hope. And I hope that people will see in my candidacy not only a a new generational perspective, but also a, a candidate that offers the new leadership and the executive experience to actually take progressive goals and values and ideas and make them happen. That's what I've done as a big city mayor and as a governor, and that's what I can do for our country in this critical time as president of the United States. Presidential candidate, Governor Martin O'Malley. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Brent. Thanks a lot. See you soon. So that is actually show content. You saw a little tease of a tease. Uh, Patrick Kennedy is going to be on Sunday, but this person is not Patrick Kennedy. This is Charlie Zolt. Yes. Charlie is the communications director for the Iowa GOP and has come here today to talk about a big event, uh -oh. October 31st. Republicans, welcome to the show, Charlie. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, good October morning. 31st. Yeah. Halloween. 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 Okay. <laughs> what kind of characters are coming out for Halloween? <laughs> only the best. We okay. have 10 presidential candidates coming uh, to Iowa for Halloween. It's only three days after the next GOP debate. So we're expecting there to be a lot of wow. fireworks around there on the stages. Uh, they're going to be stumping across the state as they've been doing now for the last six months or so. And uh, we expect, uh, you know, thousands of caucus goers. We expect uh, fun booths, uh, food, uh, tailgating, all the good stuff. It's going to be a great event. You what know? is this event, and where is it at? It's called the Growth and Opportunity Party. Okay. It is uh, October 31st. Doors open at 9 a.m. Uh, the program will start around 10:30 a.m. and run until around 3. And where is it going to be at? Varied Industries Building at the State Fair. Oh, I okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, so real and close. this is this is uh, ten presidential candidates in every other state in the union. You're going to get. Oh, we've got we've got a candidate coming. Right. We've got. Ten candidates are coming yeah. to this event. This is a big deal, and it's not—it's not just nobody. You got uh, Jeb Bush is coming, mm -hmm. Marco Rubio is coming, Carly Fiorina is coming. Uh, you know, some of the takeaways of the debate is I've been getting tweets. Boy, a Rubio ticket or a Rubio Fiorina ticket or a Fiorina Rubio ticket. Mm -hmm. Those are hard tickets to beat in a general election, and they're going to be here. Uh, Governor Branstad is going to be at your event as well, yep. as will Chuck Grassley. Yep. Yes. Uh, all the, all the best Republicans will be there. Uh, <laughs> you know, 
What I always say is that every single debate you go in, you never know what's going to happen at the debate. So this is only three days before, or three days after that debate. So who's going to rise? Who's going to be, uh, you know, finding new momentum? Who's going to be dropping? Uh, you got to come to the October 31st event to see. So what, what's the importance of coming to this event? Just mm -hmm. to support who you're already in, a fan of or to learn more about the candidates? Or why do we need to, they are around quite a bit, making speeches. We're very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky to mm -hmm. be in the state, as you've said. Mm -hmm. So why do we need to go to another event to see them speak? I and think talk? to a certain extent, uh, at this point now, it's time for the rubber to meet the road. And we want to see uh, how many supporters these candidates can get to this event. You know, how uh, strong will their presence be? So we have 93 days uh, left until the caucuses on October 31st. 93 days. 93 days, 93 and, and that's and really the final was, sprint. Yeah. If you ask anyone who's a campaigner, they know that in that 90 days, it's when you sort of kiss the kids goodbye, say goodbye to your wife and or your husband, and <laughs> sort of you know set up a tent in your office. We're getting serious. We're now. getting serious, exactly. So, so how is this going to be laid out? You mentioned setting up a tent. I'm glad you did. Are they going to have individual tents of where everybody's going to be stationed? Not tents, there? but booths. It, booths. It'll be inside the Varied Industries building, so it's going to be a, a sort of a stage right in the center, some seating. But we also want it to be kind of a fall festival and a fair more than just a you know your typical sit down and listen for a six hours sort of event. Gotcha. So you'll have booths ringing the stage. You'll have uh, uh, a lot of vendors are coming with booths and we're also going to have a really really delicious barbecue lunch for mm -hmm. only five dollars extra so it's going to be we're just doing everything we can to make it a great event for Iowans. Okay, five dollars extra what does it cost to get in then? Ten dollars for general admission real cheap for fifteen dollars you get admission plus a really good lunch. And uh, how do you buy tickets? iowagop.org, www.iowagop.org. And you know, w um, real quick, you mentioned why go to another event. Here's the thing, I there is only so many minutes in a newscast and every person, every person involved in media mm -hmm. has their own two cents on it, so you're getting an edited version, da da da. If you really want to know a candidate, come out to an event, and especially something like this, mm -hmm. you're going to see how they interact, mm -hmm. shake a hand, uh, meet them face to face, mm -hmm. see what's going on. Yeah, we're real curious to see who's going to stick around and who's going to work the room and who's going to go to another event. All these all of these candidates were, were very happy and proud that they've been coming to the state so often. Since it's three days after the debate, could mm -hmm. some people not show up because they didn't have the greatest <laughs> it could appearance happen. at the debate? It's like, you know what, I'm throwing the towel because it didn't go the way I wanted. You never know. You know, I think a lot of these guys are going to make it all the way to February 1st, but as we've seen with uh, Governor Scott Walker, you can never take anything for granted. Right. So you have to be here in Iowa. You have to be hitting the ground. You never know when your support is going to go to someone else. Okay, now, Charlie, you're the communications director for the GOP, correct? Yes, sir. All right, communicate this to your candidates <laughs> for us, okay? okay? Got it. This is a uh, forum unlike any other mm -hmm. in this town, in the city of Des Moines, yes. in the capital city of the state of Iowa. We are opening their doors to any one of these candidates to come out and hang out with us for a few minutes and, and just be who they are. And we've opened, the, we had this invitation out before, but being the communications manager, mm -hmm. I'd like you for you to communicate to them. And the Democrats, same thing goes for them. They can come over and visit with us here and show everybody what they're really like. Absolutely. I think okay. that's an easy sell. I don't think okay. it'll be a And of course, ball. we have a great outlet with uh, Brent Rosky as well, with Rosky Thursday and Politics. Thursday mornings every day. And this weekend, you're going to see uh, more with uh, Governor O'Malley. You're going to see Governor Mike Huckabee. You're going to see Patrick Kennedy. And uh, my friend Marion Williamson, author, former congressional candidate, all that Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Is it possible all that in one show? It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And congrats on uh, the Washington, D.C. broadcast last week. That was cool. You know, uh, and it's just the start of, oh, so much more. Yep. Enjoy him while you can while he's here in the morning. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for Thank coming Thank you so out. much for being here. Thank you.